Yes, I did that general examination on you for the uh, to look at your digestive system. If I can just ask if I can examine your tummy to see if there are any problems. Yes, sure. Okay. Excellent, sir. Then I ask you now that you as you can see your your um, shirt has already been taken off. If you could just lie down for me on the one pillow and lie flat for me. Excellent. And I'm just noticing that you don't look uncomfortable or in pain, you're not lying really still or in a bundle, so there's no pain at all. No pain. Excellent, sir. Tell me if it is uncomfortable at any point. So I'm going to start off just by, by looking at the tummy, and I'm going to feel the tummy, and then tap on the tummy and listen to it finally. Right. So looking at the tummy, I can notice a scar here and another scar. So if you can just tell me what happened then. The scar here is to remove my gallbladder, and this is appendix. It's appendix. Thank you, sir. I'm also looking, I can't see any veins that are prominent, I can't see any peristalsis or any movement of the bowel, I can't see that there is any pulsations of the, of the um, arteries there. I'm looking at the umbilicus and there's no abnormal nodules there, there are, there's no bruising present that would make me think of pancreatitis. And also just looking, there's no distension and I can't see any hernia. You know, that is just when there's a break in the muscle and I can also not see uh, any organs that are enlarged. So I'm going to move over now. Um, also no stretch knots there. To the next part, which is palpation. That means I'm going to be feeling the tummy. I'm just going to feel very softly and gently and I'm going to make my hands as warm as I possibly can. Okay, I think I have washed my hands just but just want to be 100% sure, so I'm going to be feeling gently first in all the areas. Okay, so I'm going to start here. You said there's no pain, so we're going to start feeling it. We start here in the right iliac fossa, the right lower part, and just down if it's so anyway. So feeling is done, there's no tenderness, there's no guarding, and it's trying to prevent me from examining it, and there's no rigidity or stiffness of the abdominal wall. And finally, I'm just going to let go here of the abdominal wall and check for rebound tenderness, which is also not present. Now, secondly, I'm going to feel a bit deeper. I'm going to start again at the same part, and I'm going to feel for the liver. And I'm going to ask you just to take a deep breath in for me. Okay, out. And as I feel, I'm just checking if the liver is not coming down with this Excellent. So the liver is not enlarged, and then I'm going to feel for the spleen. So I'm going to also start because the spleen enlarges in this area. I'm just going to feel from the right leg fossa towards the right rib border, and that costal margin. I cannot feel anything. The spleen is not enlarged. So next, I'm going to feel for the bladder. I'm just going to feel above the belly button and belly piece and go downwards gently. I cannot feel any enlargement there. Um, what I'm going to do next, I'm just also going to feel for the pulsation of the aorta. I can feel it very subtly, but it's not expensive, so I'm not worried about the aorta aneurysm. Okay. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to a lot the kidneys, that just means put one hand here at the back, one hand at the front, and if the kidneys are large, then it will feel like a little fluid for core that is going to bounce against each other, which doesn't. I hope that wasn't uncomfortable. Okay, for you. Not but on this side, I'm going to do the same. So I'm bringing both of my hands closer together, and I do not feel the kidney at all. Then I'm going to move on now to percussions. I'm going to tap the belly. I'm going to start again here at the lower end. And I'm going towards the postal margin. And I can feel here, yes, where it's becoming dark. So that is in the mid clinical point. And now I'm going to just percuss from the top. And there you 
it's also an young continuation of what we tweet. Nice areas, and I'm going to see if there's any enlargement of the data. This is particularly useful if the data has been displaced downwards in people with emphysema. Just measuring the it's 11 centimeter, and that's within normal limits. Okay. Next, I'm going to do some more percussions. I'm also going to tap for the bladders. I'm going to start tapping above the umbilicus and downwards towards the pubic part. And it's actually staying pressing it. Right. After that, I'm now going to check if there's any free fluid in the abdomen. So if I can just ask you to put your hand there, because we're going to check the fluid store and we don't want it to go through the septic down in this. Fat there, so I'm going to feel this side. I'm just going to give a little flick on this side. Okay. Then you can take your hand away again, and there was no fluid flow. Now I'm going to check for, for shifting um, downness. So I'm starting in the middle where it's the panic. Pressing it, and I'm going to go on until I find an area of darkness. And I'm going to ask you to turn over for me. And then I'm going to give you the chance if there is free fluid, it will now go down with gravity, the bowels will come up, and then this area, if there is free fluid, this area should become resonant and tympanic. So I'm just going to tap there again. Recursively, and it stays there. So there is no free fluid in the abdomen, which is good news. If you can lie down. Now the last part is I'm just going to clean my stethoscope so that I can listen to your bell sounds. I apologize because the stethoscope is a little bit cold. So I'm listening under the umbilicus for the bell sounds. And they are present. Next, I'm going to listen above the umbilicus for the aorta if there are any breathes. There, no, there is no breathing. And then over the renal artery, so supralateral of the umbilicus. And I cannot hear them breathe in that area. Excellent. So if there was any enlargement of the level or the spleen, I would also listen over that to hear if it was a venous hump, but that's not relevant here. So I just want to do the last part of the examination, if that's all right, so I want you to sit up for me. Just dangle your feet off from the bed. Okay. And then I'm just going to tap on your, what you call the, the um, renal angle, which is where the kidneys are. So here we, your spine meets the rib margin and it's just like it shouldn't hurt you but just let me know if it's uncomfortable. So? No. Okay. That's excellent because it could happen if there's an infection that it's so. I appreciate your help Mr. Peter and I've got good news that your digestive system seems to be working very well. On inspection, looking at the abdomen, feeling the abdomen, um, tapping on the abdomen with percussion and listening. We couldn't find anything wrong, so thank you so much. Um, just to be thorough, in a hospital they would also look at, at the urine test, at the rectal examination, and also look for any hernias by making you stand up and doing further tests on that. But everything seems fine. Thank, thank you, you Dr. That's really thank good you. news. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bye -bye.